M0FXB Hamtech. I am loving this at the moment. This is so good, especially if you've got an ICOM 705. Of course, this system's going to work with many, many different radios. Big thank you to Craig KM6LYW. Been looking at this for, I've actually been looking at this for about a year. I just haven't got around to doing it. I bought the screen, which you can see on my Raspberry Pi there on the, to the left of this 705. Uh, all you need is a Raspberry Pi. You, there is a board which I also purchased for older radios. It provides the sound card. But if you've got newer radios with a USB type sound card interface, then this just works so well. So all I did, I went to, let's have a look now, this site here. I downloaded the image and I loaded it using Bellina. That looks like this. So you literally just load it to your SD card, flash it. If I click flash another, you select the image that you've downloaded, select your SD card flash. Five minutes later, you've got an SD card completely ready to start using this system. So you think, well, what is DigiPi? Well, I'm actually running it right now. And if we go to my FT8 page, which is here. Now this is connected directly to my 705. Lucky me, Craig has actually got a 705. So all the settings that I put into my 705 were identical so it took me about two minutes it gave me my longitude latitude setting up the wi-fi was so simple you just select wi-fi here and you put in your wi-fi i did start the whole thing off with um, with my ethernet cable the screen if you look at the screen here that i purchased they're about 19 pound but you can use them on all of your different pies and it just it just plugs in there's no soldering at all it now so at the moment says FTA so the simple thing is that you connect it to your 705 or and I will be doing videos on my other radios as well yeah the image is loaded I've turned the thing on I can there's an initial configuration which looks like this so let's just move move out the way here a bit you just fill out your call sign your win link password APRS password. Remember, anyone with a ham radio call sign can get an APRS password. Maybe even without a call sign, but you know you definitely can. Your grid square, all this kind of stuff. I found it all easily. Uh, there is a site for your longitude and latitude, but they give you links within this. The rig number. There is a, a you know a list you can look at, but you don't need the rig number because you've got 705 if you're me <laughs> but no you do need the rig number if you've got a different rig and then device file again these numbers the 115200 you're gonna to have to look into your particular rig I'm sure that when you select your rig it'll probably say it and then you apply your changes and the radio and Digi, DigiPi are, are, are together as one and um, so then once you're on the radio now you can see here I haven't even started TXing yet so if I just go enable TX and I've literally had this running for about five minutes. Let's have a look here. See if we can get a contact. Of course the radio's vanished now, you can't see the radio. I'll leave it running there while I try and get the image of the radio back. But let's go over to our dashboard. I've got so many links here. So here's my dashboard. On the dashboard, you select what you want to use. So I turned on FTA. It just appears on the screen. There's a shortcut. See these here? They're like HTTP shortcuts. And remember, you don't have to be sat at your radio to do any of this. You can do all this from a distance. See the way my radio just vanishes and comes back? It's like pure magic. Typical Wi-Fi. I'll dim it down so it looks a bit cooler so let's you know let's go back to the ft8 window no contacts yet so let's just turn that off go to the thing now remember i'm brand new to this i've been using this for about 10 minutes yeah but you know me if i'm learning you're going to be with me so we'll turn it off okay and the screen should change on the digipi now like see the way we've still got the green light there so DigiPi off and then I, I've not used many of these items so I need to learn them all so you, look you've got slow scan TV FL Digi JS Core APRS DigiP let's just do APRS chat I'll turn that on I might have to reboot I think uh, let's just hit the shortcut here I think we need it on 
I think it takes about a minute to reboot. We're on a Pi 3, but it will work on a Pi 4 and a Pi 5. So let's hit FL Digi on. With a bit of luck, it will come to life. Yeah, look at the screen. The screen is now saying FL Digi. And then we hit the FL Digi shortcut. Now remember, I haven't even used FL Digi, so I don't actually know what it is. Okay, what's all this? Someone tell me what FL Digi is. Well, there's a lot going on here. What's got? Okay, but you get the idea. So you, you choose one of the shortcuts. It's showing my frequency. File. Yeah, so someone tell me what FL Digi is. But wow, looks pretty good to me. It's taken over my screen. Let's try one more, we'll end, then we'll end the video. I think you get the idea. Slow scan TV, how do I do that? You know, so I'm just gonna hit it on and see what happens. You can see that the, uh, the little digi screen its size is 1.3. I think it's called a mini. Adafruit Mini Pi TFT. So slow scan TV is now showing as green. So we're in ready mode. So let's hit it. Is there a shortcut for that? That one there, SSTV. And it redirects. Oh, okay. Now again, something I've never done. Let's move this out of the way. So if you know how to send slow scan, you're ready. Look at all that. So you get your image, receive. Do we sort of import an image? Configuration, calibrate. So you can try out SSTV. Of course, we don't need to be on this frequency. I'm getting into this now, so let's try another one. So let's go back to DigiPi. Brig control, I'm guessing, is from where, for where you when you are away. What's R dot modem? I have an idea what WinLink is, you know, sending emails via RF. Linux node, what's that? APRS web chat. Let's turn that on. And then you'll see the screen change again. There you are, it's just switch it over. It says DigiPi TNC. Now I I've, I've, I have done TNC in the past, but it says APRS web chat. TNC has come on. I don't know why, but it has. So let's just hit the, let's have a look now. TNC and APRS web chat. Let's look for one here. Packet web chat. I selected web chat. I've got quite a few items here for packet radio. I've been using the universal radio controller and I have an AIOC device. So, okay. To call sign message. So G one L R O is a friend of mine. Default path. That, that looks very APRSE to me. So maybe I should send it to myself. Message. Hello M zero F X B. I don't know. I literally don't know. But anyway, send. And look, it transmitted it. So we need to be on the right frequency. A bit. Probably not the. Um... Oh look. Okay. Cool. Anyway, you need to be on the right packet frequency. Of course you do. And then it, for this to happen, let's try another one. Uh, enjoying this. Fantastic. Uh, what else we got here? FL Digi. Have I done that? Slow scan. Right. The last one. We've done FTA. TNC and APRS I gate on HF. APRS Digipeter. Let's just do it. Turn it on. And I've actually got a Digipeter here that I've not learned how to use. Um, so you, it should just flick over now, which it is. The screen says APRS Digi now. So we'll hit the, where's that? Is there a shortcut for that? FL Digi, web chat, I'm not really sure. System log, Wi-Fi shell, SSTV, could be any of these, couldn't it? Uh, so, so there you go, I think that's enough for now. Let's go back to the website. Quite a few links here. I've been looking at. 
So again, thank you very much to Craig. A lot of information here, I'm sure. I mean, it looks very nice, doesn't it, on the Pi Zero? I've got a Pi Zero. And see the board that is underneath the Pi Zero, the audio, I've got that board. But there's a bit of soldering to do, but which is within my knowledge. And then you can connect it to older radios that don't have a built-in sound card. And how good is that? You, the small device, you connect it to an older radio, you don't have to buy these expensive items and you're on doing FTA out the box. So I, I totally get it. Now that I've used it, I completely get it. You've got GitHub here as well. Homepage of Craig as well. Just open that in a new link. We've probably seen that already. There you are, all about Craig, the developer there. And I've, you know, Craig, if you're listening, I've watched many of your videos and I love the enthusiasm. And there's a lot, you know, massive, massive amount of work on this. And also the other thing I've noticed that there's always a new, a new project. Now I'm a newbie when it comes to learning. I always come in learning like I know nothing. Um, every, and I've reviewed thousands and thousands of products and I still, even now I know nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, all this information is really appreciated. I like what I'm seeing here, DigiPi software configuration step-by-step -step video by Craig, KM6LYLYW. I've got the FT1, so that's got to be worth a go. You're seeing it there, FTA. Linux node, I don't really know what that does. Is it an all-star node? Please send me information, anyone that's, anyone that's used this. You know, you're going through all the different programs here. And of course, you can use your tablet, your phone. It's working via Wi-Fi. It's working via your browser. You know, so uh, brilliant. Love it. Oh, that I recognise that grid tracker type programs, FTA, and on and on. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, and I'm sure this will work on most radios. Seven three.